Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm out here on another ball field. This is a girl's softball field. I got a phone call. I uh, want to do some treatments to the turf. It's wrapped up with dandelion, clover, and henbit, and chickweed, and all kind of things. It is Bermuda. It's been overseeded with uh, ryegrass, and I'm going to come out tomorrow. I didn't have room on the trailer, but I'll bring my sprayer and uh, my mower, we're gonna give it a quick mow and then give it a good treatment to start working on the weeds and get the ryegrass fed. You can see this is a pretty substantial hump right here. Uh, you know, it's kind of typical for a lot of ball fields where the transition goes from the infield surface, the clay, to the turf. A lot of times you'll have a hump right there and first and foremost, it's unsafe for the players. You know, they could be running, going for a little looper that's gonna barely get out of the outfield and the infielder could trip over this. I mean, that's a pretty substantial hump right there. So typically, I would edge this out and then bring in new material and fill it up to it. This one's so bad, uh, I'm gonna take the sod cutter on the Ventrac and come in here and I'm gonna cut the hump out and remove the material and so that the actual edge of the infield will come back to here instead of here and I, I think I can get rid of that hump. Uh, luckily, it's basically right here within the first eight inches of transition and so my sod cutter I think is uh, 18 inches wide, 16 inches wide, something like that. So I should be able to come back far enough to actually you know, completely remove the hump. And then that'll also give me my clean edge out here because the sod cutter leaves a nice clean edge. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to come over here and with the ABI force on the, the playing surface. And I'm gonna decompact it, uh, loosen it up with the rippers and then regrade it because just looking out across here, I can see some imperfections in the grade. I'll get that all fixed up, and then I'll take the front bucket on the Ventrac, and they've got some material dumped out there outside the left field fence line, and bring it in here. It's a clay sand mix. Someone actually donated that to the school, so it's not the typical material that I use. So I'm, I'm kind of a little bit excited to see how that's gonna spread out and, and level up as compared to the stuff I normally use. So let's get at it and when we get done, I'll show you the results.